Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts and to the Italian campaign when I'm still in the middle of <laughs> doing all of the designs because, of course, this is going to take this is taking way longer than it normally would because I'm doing each ship as an individual one off. So um, now we have the experimental armored cruiser. Very interesting looking ship. Oh, you get double funnels? Wow, okay. Let's go for small and a big. Yeah. Something like that. Uh, main guns. I think we'll use the same 9-inch twins that we used on the Milan. Uh, yeah, look. Draft is increased on... The that is a really nice touch. So the ships that are really high out of the water have their draft slider like further to the right. And the ones that are really low in the water have them further to the left. That is that is top stuff. I really like that. Wow, this thing is slow. Um, it needs to be able to do 21 knots. I know I'm technically going to be pushing the design. Oh no, we can do it. Uh, that is a bit of a, a push. For this hull, but kind of, kind kind of need it to be able to keep up with uh, the <laughs> the main battle line. There we go. Okay, not bad, not bad. Uh, nine inch forty five so is absolutely fine. Um, and then I think. Oh, the campers. Of course, the campers' main guns. Did I put them on a s side six? Side six. I'm trying to think what I even did with the Milan. Did that have them as secondaries or as primary guns? I'm not even sure anymore. I think it had them in the secondary category, but this one doesn't. How interesting. Why don't we get. Four inch guns. Actually, can I do funky things with barbettes? No. So rather than the sixes and the twos, I'm just going to go all fours. Come on. I know you'll fit. There you go. Wow, the, the guns look like they've been put on by a drunk. But, um... Once it works. <sighs> there we go. So a little uniform four inch battery. Although we I know we can't get two inch guns up here, but they get kind of blocked and and things. So no, we're gonna we're gonna not do that. And we're not gonna do torpedoes. We're just gonna go nines and fours. Uh, again, I think we just max the armor out. This is 8.2, so let's go 4.1. And just flat to... Uh, in fact, 4.1 is going to bother me. Let's just go 4. 4 and 8. Uh... And then 12, 6, 12, uh, 2, 1.5 then. It's going to be like that. Let's make them 50 caliber. And I have a lot of weight left. That's not a huge problem. Uh, what I'm actually thinking of doing is reducing the draft just to make the ship cheaper. I could also push speed. How fast is the Milan again? 23. Could we push it to 23 knots? Uh, maybe if we induce the boiler? Yeah. Okay, we'll do that. Push it to 23 knots. Make it spacious. And that's it. Okay, so there we go. The Naples. Uh, weird ship, but uh, I can live with it. So, save the design. Uh... It is cheaper than the Milan, noticeably. 
So maybe a, a cut price version. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, next is the Armoured Cruiser 4. Uh, and this is going to be the Turin. Now, this is a nice permissive hull. Uh, I don't like that advanced rear tower, weirdly. I think I'm going to go for the, the regular one. And again, this is purely aesthetics. But I'm playing Italy. Aesthetics are important. Oh, I love the triple funnel. That'll just... I really want it to look like a, a ship of the era. And that kind of does it for me. I like that. Slight tumble home to the hull as well. Interesting. Uh, main guns, again... Thinking the twin nines, four and a half. Seems to be a, a bit of a theme. And yeah, I must have gone side sixes. But no, we're going to go fours again. Um, but, uh, you know, in a straight line rather than... <laughs> Pickledy, pickledy. Um, oh, torpedoes. Yes, we'll put those on. Because why not? And I think that's looking okay. <laughs> we can always have the two-inch two inch guns for crew morale purposes. Um, right, turbines, semi-oil. How fast can we go? Tw 21. Okay, now the problem there is both of the other cruisers can do 23. So I know it's pushing this ship, but cru the heavy cruisers are going to have to be able to do 23. Um, and as well, yeah, because that means that just the Victrix and the full Minata are, are the slow ships in the fleet, the Augusta, the Milan, the Naples, and the Turin, they're all going to be medium, and then the Veneno is, is going to be uh, the speedster. At least with the heavy ships. Do, 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 do. Right, and then we arrive at armor, and I've actually used a lot more displacement than I have with the other ships. Is this the same? Oh, no, this is different, because it's an armored cruiser, of course. Uh, so, I can use the armor scheme that I would want to use, which would be nine to match the guns, and four and a half there and there. The deck can be lower. Uh, we don't need to worry about the deck nearly as much. 12, 6, 12. Just splinter protection on everything else, basically. 4 inch 50 caliber guns and 9 inch 45s. 7% over. Oof. Okay. That's not what I like to see. Um. We do have Barbettes as an option. Maybe, maybe this ship's a little bit different. How many Barbettes am I allowed? A few. Okay. Uh, wow, what the hell is that? <laughs> I kind of like it. But no, we're not going to use 9-inch. This is going to be a slightly different ship. We're going to use 8. We're going to use 8-inch uh, 50s. Uh, 
Uh, they're just going to have a 10... Oh, 8, 4 on them. 8, 4 is fine. So it's going to be a, weirdly, less armoured than the semi-armoured. So we're going to reduce this down to 8 and 4 as well. Um, but we're going to have more... We're going to have more guns, basically. That's the plan. Oh, that looks better as well. Once the boat disappears. Very nice. Okay, we're 6% overweight. But I think this is a this is a more balanced approach. Rather than like the the four huge guns, we've got eight. It's not that much smaller, but you know just slightly. And I think we can do do it with a reduced range. There, there we go. Nice. Pretty pretty bog standard kind of ship for this era, I would have said. But I think it'll do okay. Uh, we do have a bit of a forward weight offset. Let's see if we can fix that. Zero point five. I can live with a zero point five. Uh, cost forty three, which is really just the Milan. That's the weirdly expensive one, which is also going to be timeline wise the probably the first ship, uh, the uh, oldest ship, and then the Naples, and then the Turin. Um, so you know the Italian Navy learning lessons with the Milan and then cutting costs. Uh, successively actually so the naples is then cheaper and then the turin is even cheaper than that i kind of like that as a as a as a theme right we'll save this one and we're going to move on to so that was the armored cruiser for the fast armored cru what the hell is that uh, <laughs> this is going to be the palermo That is a uh, what? What are these weird boxes? So we want the new hulls in one point four, but that's that's very strange. These weird boxes. Oh, the wow! The rear tower kind of slots inside. Interesting. Uh, wait, wait. <laughs> what? <laughs> what are these funnels? Side by side round funnels. Cool. If a little weird. Uh, yeah. I guess I'm just shoving a big round funnel right in the middle. <laughs> okay, let's go for the same 8 inch approach. Oh, wait. No, we do get puppets. Do we? No, we don't. Okay, so with no access to barbets, we'll go back to the 9-inch style. I'm tempted to reduce draft on this ship because it is sitting so high out of the water. It's ridiculous. Um, no secondary mounts, really? Okay, this, so this is going to be the ship that the Admiralty was like, yeah, I guess we could build <laughs> another armored <laughs> cruiser. But, um, seriously, oof. No, because I can't get the... 
Okay, maybe if I pull this out a little bit, we can get another funnel in. There we go. This is the design that the Admiral was like. Who is this designed by the politicians? Uh, all the same choices. Uh, no reason to go crazy with that. We're going to go... Uh, well, this one's a 9-inch ship, isn't it? Let's go 9, 4.5, 4 4.5, 3, 4 .5, 4 .5, 12, and then yeah, 12, 6, 12. Uh, I've gone slightly over. 9 inch 45s, 2 inch 45s. And the underwater torpedo tubes, right? Let's lose a torpedo tube. There we go. Boom. Done. That was the weirdly asymmetrical one. <laughs> Two percent forward weight offset. Yeah, because the funnels aren't centered, but I can live with it. It's a funny looking thing. I'll be honest. I don't even sure what these boxes are for. Fuel. Uh, someone who knows ship design and which historical ship this has taken off. Can you explain to me what these boxes are in the comments? Like above deck, just a big box. I'm trying to think what you would, because they're too far away from the boilers to be coal. It gives it a very odd look. Uh, shipping container, <laughs> that's what makes me, th obviously containerized shipping didn't exist in this time period, but that's what it makes me think of. Right, save that. New design. Palermo, you are the uh, ugly one in the family. The large armored cruiser 5. Wow, that's an interesting hull. Uh, let's go with the Genoa. Um... going to look like the uh, is it the Augusta? Yeah it is. It's going to look very similar with maybe just the two funnels rather than the full four. I'm wondering if yeah we can uh, go for a battle hex again. Because a battle hexagon, that's interesting. That is potentially interesting. Italy thinking outside the box. I like it. Um, yeah. Yeah, we're just going to go with this. Uh, speed? Uh, yeah, we're going to have to push you to 23. Turbines are handling. That's excellent. The rest of the design shouldn't be too much of a problem. And then, given it's an 8 inch arm ship, let's just go for an 8 inch scheme. 844. Uh, four, two, two, two. I'm a little bit heavy on the deck, I, I, I know. Uh, ten. And ten. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> oh, seven and a half limit on the turret? Interesting. Not a huge fan of that. If I make them 50 caliber guns, can I get more armor on? Yes, I can. Okay. Eight inch. That makes me slightly happier. Uh, Protect that. 
uh, the uh, <laughs> the turret armor limit scales on the size and the length of the gun. Um, I think so. You could you can kind of fiddle around with it. There you go. Eighty eight percent. Why is it so so light? Hmm. I guess it is like a repurposed battleship hull. So let's reduce displacement and therefore cost. It is going to change length, which is not a huge issue, I don't think. We can still get the uh, tower on. Oops, Daisy, what are you doing? Game. No. No, so the tower will have to drop down. But we're still going. Okay. Less, 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 less. Yeah, there we go. Minimum displacement. That saves us a ton of money. Gives us a more compact design. There's still a ton of displacement left. So we're going to go spacious and we're going to give it increased endurance. 50 million. So actually ending up well, God, the Palermo is actually more than the Turin. <laughs> but uh, the same cost as the Palermo, but with more firepower. Okay. Okay, cool. Save that. And I think there was one more. Cruiser. Heavy cruiser. To design, yes. The large armoured cruiser. Oh, yes, this one. So this is going to be the Florence. No, Bologna. Um, this is a really nice hull. Could make a little, uh, little mini dreadnought with this thing, basically. Can we get you up to 23, though? That is the question. Because... Oof. It's going to be a tough ask. I'm going to seriously be hampered with weight here. Because we're at the maximum. 14,000. Oh, yeah. Guns. Um... Please tell me I can use barbettes. I can. I kind of like. I kind of like this. Wait, what? Side mount. <laughs> it's, it's wanting to mount on the sides. That's uh, pretty fun. I, I'm kind of liking this this barbette. I'm gonna go eights. I'm gonna go eight. Eight eights. For, I think a reasonable amount of firepower. Casements. Uh, I'm going to go four inch. With some two inch backup. I could put a secondary gun here, but I don't think I'm going to. I'm happy enough with this so far. Okay, that's all looking good. Actually, I thought we were going to we were going to really struggle on weight. The the thing this is going to struggle on then is going to be range. Let's go for the eight four scheme. All right, uh, two. 1.5 and then uh yeah okay uh, i need to make them longer 50s 8 yeah 8 5 10 <laughs> 4 inch guns on the side 4 and 2 2 inch guns 2 and 2 and 2 that's it 97% um Okay, 
We could go spacious, but I'd like to get a pipper range because this thing is oh no, not doable. Uh, pfft, spacious as it is, it's just a very short range ship. <laughs> Compromised, a compromised design, but I think overall a fun one. Okay, nice. Save that, and then what are we left with? Yeah, so we've done all of the cruisers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back to the shipyard place. <laughs> oh, I should have cut it. They said they improved this, but it still takes forever. Um, and I'm going to build one of each of these. So one Lan, one Naples, one Turin, one Palermo. One Genoa and one Bologna. Lovely. Uh, yes. <laughs> Okie dokie. Right. Uh, back to the design. So, like cruisers, I'm going to simplify my life. I am allowed to build multiple light cruisers. Uh, but light cruisers, are, well, this one could be interesting. Could go for something on the light cruiser three. Not a huge fan of the light cruiser four. Um, large refit tower. Wow, that's a ch that's a chungus and a half. I kind of want to use them because they look amazing. Potentially, right? Okay, so we're widening the ship. Still doesn't fit. <laughs> okay, I might send this in to uh, Obara. Yeah, the cruiser towers fit, but the medium refit towers don't. Uh, I'll try and remember to do that. Um, okay, so let's reset the reset the beam. So it's going to have to be the small cruiser tower, but. You're not going to make me put it all the way up there, are you? Yeah. Now we can sneak it in more towards the middle of the ship. Um, and then what? Two funnels? Maybe three funnels, actually? Yeah, three funnels looks good. I like that. Because this can go 29 and a half. Well, 29 and a half. Not 39. Uh, that is that is speedy. That is speedy. Uh, main guns, what have we got? Uh, it's a light cruiser. I like the six inch gun on a light cruiser. Do we get Bobettes? Yes, we do. Uh... Couple of single six inch. Up on the foxhole, and then on the back, I reckon I can get a triple stack of them like that. It's quite a lot of firepower. We're also massively overweight, <laughs> so I don't think this is going to be possible. Uh, And as well, even if I induce the boilers, that's not enough. So, more funnels. Wow, okay, even then, not enough. What about 28 to match the battle cruiser? Yes, that's fine. Okie dokie. Um, well, if we're doing that, let's just go down to a sick, uh, a four gun cruiser. It does have a weird kind of gap in it, which I don't like. So I'm actually gonna. I know it's gonna upset the balance, but not that much actually. 
I really like the fact that you can I mean, a lot freer with these designs. See, that looks a lot better. Actually looks quite nice. Hmm. Okay. Uh, could also get a, uh, a spread of two inch guns in between the boats for taking a pot shot at uh, transports and things. That's what I'm thinking. Now, yeah, I guess we could go crook. Oh, they can fit a mine layer. That's a nice little secondary use. Uh, now, oh, what are the maximum is on this? Yeah, three inch. This is going to be much reduced, um, which is fine. Uh, I really don't mind on a light cruiser. So, a six inch gun is going to be able to go through light cruiser armor just fine. Okay, so we're not going to be able to armor ourselves against six inch guns or anything like that but we can armor ourselves against two inch guns which you know are going to be two ish inch pen so we just go three inch across the board and then we might be able to protect our decks against the six inch gun though yeah deck is only like 1.5 this should actually i know this looks incredibly weak by uh, my normal standards, but I actually think this this will work. Oh, there's no secondary tower. Okay, that's a slight issue. Um... <laughs> Oops. I should be able to squeeze one in there. Rookie mistake. Oh, let's take these guns out. There we go. See, now I'm overweight. But it's fine. It's fine. Uh, layering, I don't really think. The layers can exist, but I don't really think they're going to be much of anything. Now, the turrets, potentially, we could armor against enemy fire with a 636. It's going to make them a little bit too heavy, though. So I'm just going to stick with 3 inch everywhere on them uh, so I can make them longer. 50s, there we go. That's that's not too bad. That's not too bad. And now I just need to think of a name. Welcome back. This is going to be the Campania class. Um, it's a real class of ship. I don't actually know how <laughs> this compares to it. I should probably should have checked that. In fact, I will check that between uh, when I go back to the, the build menu. But... Uh, I've added class to the name so that I know that this is not a unique ship. Uh, but obviously the first one will not be called the Companion class. It'll just be called the Companion. So I'm going to save that. Uh, I'm going to head back to the uh, fleet screen. And I'm going to see how my finances are and how many of these we can build. Welcome back. We actually have a ton of money. We've got 1.1 billion remaining. Um... We're going to be very, very light. Uh, but that's not a, no bad thing. Um, so we, we could afford to build quite a few of these. Compared to the real companion class, I looked them up. Uh, they were much, much slower. <laughs> Doing like 60 knots or something stupid. Um, but they had more guns. The real ones, six, six inch guns rather than the four that we are mounting. But I think these will do well. Um, I think. Given that they cost like 26 million, we could probably build as many as 10 of these. I think that would be a, a reasonable number. Uh, and just spread them out. Um, I don't want I don't want to blow all my money because I know I I I'm being very cautious. Yeah. 
because uh, yeah, I know I know that things can get very expensive very quickly. So we're gonna go for ten of those, and then we're gonna build a destroyer class and a torpedo boat class. A torpedo boat. Brother Mario building torpedo boats. Yeah, because we've got the torpedo boat destroyer. This is gonna be our frigate. Uh, but the destroyers. Um, Yes, I think we can make something of these. Tuck that up in there. Now, this early, I think I'm going to go 3-inch on the destroyers. Uh, I don't think we need to use the 5-inch guns yet. Because, although... They are Mark 3s. Maybe I could go 5 inch straight off the bat. <laughs> they are, they're too big. <laughs> there you go. However, I could go f compromise and go 4 inch. I don't often build a 4 inch destroyer, but we are using the 4 inch gun. We're not using 3s or 5s at the moment at all, anywhere in the fleet. Uh, we're using 8s, we're using 9s, we've got 2s on a lot of the ships, we've got 6s on a lot of the ships, and a couple of them have 4s, like the Turin here has 4-inch gun, so does the Naples. So it would make sense for us to use a 4-inch gun, thematically. Ultra Enhanced Funnel Plus Range Finder, cool. Uh, triple Stack. I'm thinking it's going to be the right call here. Uh, but we shall see how fast can these things go. 34. <whistles> that is a speedy destroyer. And it can do it. Wow. Okay. Uh, yeah, max AG, base fuse, capacitic. Quite standard, enhanced, distance, radio, minesweeper, mine layer. Wow, we've still got so much displacement left. I know I haven't put all the guns on. Um, don't shout at me, please. Um, yeah. Four inch guns, although I'm running out of space. Might have to lose a funnel, but I really don't want to. Yeah, there we go. And a torpedo tube. Got an half weight offset, but that is kind of going to be inevitable. Unless I, no, I can take a uh, funnel out. Okay. That'll fix it. Ah, not completely fix it, but... It's not as bad as it was. And there we go. That looks a bit, a little bit better as well without quite as many boats. Um, how much armor do you like to put on a destroyer? <laughs> 0.7. Yeah, let's go for like half an inch everywhere. Entire thing. Just half an inch. And an inch on the conning tower. Wow. <laughs> Lucky you, <laughs> destroyer crews. <laughs> um, can you fit more meaningful armor on these guys? Yeah, one and a half. Uh, 50 caliber. Hmm. I like them. I, I, I actually do like them. Little titchy little destroyers. Okay. Um, what else could we do? We could make them spacious. Uh, yeah, make them spacious. And I'm going to think of a name. Actually, do you know what? The Indom Domito is fine. There's actually a real destroyer class of roughly this era. So that's fine. That's absolutely fine. We'll go with the Indomito. Um... And we could build a lot 
like we can build genuinely a lot uh, I want to make sure that we have at least one in every oh, I should have done the thing <laughs> at least one in every single port uh, so how many we don't have do we have overseas holdings yes we do so we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fourteen ports to cover Plus some more. I'm going to build 30 of these. Can never have enough destroyers. Uh, I'm also going to make sure that we do have a destroyer in every port, and then I'll let the uh, I'll let the game distribute the rest, basically. Not a tissue. And then, yeah, the rest the rest can be distributed. I'm happy for the the cruisers to kind of be spread out. I just wanted to make sure there was a destroyer in every uh, every port. Now, I was I did say I was going to build a torpedo boat, but I actually don't think we need to. Those destroyers are kind of um, do everything. What I will be using torpedo boats for later, I think, is to uh, do anti-submarine. Uh, if you saw my British campaign, the T class <laughs> that I built. Oh, I got to my shipbuilding. Uh, so I'm immediately going to lay down more shipbuilding. Uh, we're going to max our crew training, and I don't think we'll be able to max the tech budget, but we can we can get it kind of in the right place. And uh, I'm going to end. Uh, I'm going to start the campaign <laughs> and uh, see where we're at. Okay, here we are into January. Monthly balance is positive, but not crazy. We have a little bit of a naval fund uh, in case of emergencies. Politic-wise, we're looking okay. We're looking okay. Let's have a look at fleet sizes, though. So we, I went for four capital ships, uh, 16 cruisers of various types, and 30 destroyers. Let's have a look at what other people have. We're, we're just under 30. 300,000 tons. Spain slightly bigger total. Three capital ships. Austro-Hungarians, a little bit bigger. Six capitals. China is smaller. They have five. Japan has a noticeably bigger fleet, actually, but only four capital ships. Same kind of deal with the Russians. Four capital ships, 400,000 tons. US, four capital ships, 500,000 tons. See, this is very interesting to me. France is going to be one of our main rivals, I reckon. Three capital ships, 400,000 tons. Bucking the trend, though. <laughs> the Germans and the British. Uh, nine capital ships for the Germans. And uh, nine for the British. Uh, interesting. So I think we're looking in good shape. To be honest, I really do. Uh, our economy is growing, growing well actually. Ten percent is one of the higher values. Although, Jesus, who have they got in charge? Centre party democracy, right wing. Okay, they're getting a little bit of a GDP boost. Nice for them. Uh, but there. Now, thinking long term, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Well, also, where did my cruiser set up? Uh, did any of them know we're in a really weird place? No, I don't think so. So, let's look at our power projection. So, Western Med, uh, we're not going to have. We should have more than that. Oh, someone at my door. Back in a sec. Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> Back to where I was. So, obvious strategic targets for us are France, Spain, and Austria-Hungary. Because if we attack them, we can try and expand our influence in the Med. That's basically it. And a 
as well the UK. Because Malta, Gibraltar, Cyprus. All very interesting. Now, Africa, again, if we get into a conflict with Britain, we might be able to take some stuff in Africa, but it's not going to be my focus. My focus is going to be very, very much on Italy itself. The only problem is going to be if we get in a war with Japan or China or something like that, and then we're going to really have to <laughs> expand our options. But please, with those designs, please, with the start we've got, if you have a design and you are using NAR, check out the link in the video description for my Discord server and you can go on there and uh, you can send them to me directly. Um, if, however, you're on vanilla, that doesn't mean I'm not interested in seeing your designs. There is a community design form. You can find a link on the uh, Game Labs forums um, to send in your designs and to download the designs that get sent in as well. So if you just want to play against some better designs than what AI can deal with, do that. Link to uh, the Naval Arms Race mod in the video description as well. And the last thing to say is, although I'm really looking forward to this campaign and really looking forward to trying out uh, <laughs> the Naval Arms Race mod and all the rest of it, because I am do using a modded campaign, uh, there may be breaks when uh, the updates get released for the base game because that often breaks the mods and then you have to wait for uh, for the update to come out from the mod author and no pressure on them <laughs> to do that that that's there's a lot of work uh, particularly when the updates come thick and fast so there might be the occasional little break in the action but uh, I'll make sure that I let you guys know if that's what's going on anyway super looking forward to it and uh I'll see you guys soon for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Bye for now.